In this video, we will be reviewing the accounts payable processes in Dynamics NAV 2016. And I am actually logged into the accounts payable coordinator role center. Let's go ahead and, and enter a transaction so that you can see where the defaults come into play. So I'm going to come up into my ribbon and just choose that uh, a new purchase invoice document. And the first question that it's asking me is, who's my buy from vendor number? I can click the list here and, and search through and try and find my vendor, or I can just start typing. NAV makes it very easy for me to find, in this case, the vendor that I'm looking for, and I can even choose how I want to find that vendor. So um, I've got my default filter here on name, so when I start typing, it's going to look at that na name field and make a recommendation for me. There could be more than one item on the list, but in this case, it's just Office Supply Company, which is exactly what I want. I also need to fill in my vendor invoice number. This is a required field, so I'll go ahead and, and put that information in. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to move down into our lines. And this is where we distribute to the general ledger the, this particular invoice. And so you can also choose item or fixed asset um, if you want to. Most commonly when you're doing a non-purchase order invoice, it's going to be to a general ledger account. I can do the same sort of searching and filtering that I could do on my vendor when I choose my GL account. And so I want my office supplies account. I could also just type in the number. I typed in part of the description. I'm going to go ahead and enter a quantity and we'll, we'll do a, a $300 invoice here. Now notice that my division and department have come through automatically based on the defaults that I chose on my vendor. And I can go ahead and override these if I want to, but I'm just going to keep them the way they are because this is how I want to distribute this transaction. Keep in mind as well, I can have as many lines here so I can continue tabbing, add a new line if I want to, uh, and distribute this in any way that I need to, to both the general ledger and to whatever dimensions are necessary. I can see my totals here at the bottom. What I want to do at this point, um, I'm finished with this transaction, so I'm just going to go ahead and post. And notice that there's F9 there as a function key equivalent to just clicking the post button. So what's happened now, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page here, and you can see that my office supply balance is now $300 greater. And so that um, has been recorded as a payable, and also all of the distributions to the general ledger and dimensions have been made.